Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter Neal and today I'm going to show you some of the buys I had from Sunday. Now as you're aware, Monday was bank holiday, Easter Monday and Malvern was on. However, the forecast was for snow and severe weather so I didn't even bother attempt to go. Uh, whether it had snow or not, I don't know, um, but I think it did. So I didn't get up, I stayed on in bed and spent the day with the children on Monday. Um, so I got Sunday's buy-in to show you and it went alright, to be totally honest with you, I'm happy enough with it. So, yeah. Let's get to uh, showing you what I've had. I've had some really nice things. Uh, and I haven't spent a fortune either, guys. I'm going to start off here with a real nice presentation plaque. Um, nice photo of the uh, RMS Titanic with some interior photos, beautifully framed up and mounted. Down here we have two gold plated coins or tokens commemorating 100 years White Star Line and the Titanic in Liverpool 1912. So theoretically this was done in 2012. It's a really nice presentation set, nice plaque in the centre there given the uh, details. The RMS Titanic 100th Anniversary Commemorative Post of Registry Liverpool Route Southampton to New York City. Maiden Voyage 10th of April 1912. And it has all the details, everything on there guys. Even uh, sank on April 15th 1912 after hitting an iceberg in Northwest Atlantic Ocean. So a really nice uh, piece here. Now I've looked online and I can't find a comparative one at all. Now they sell in first day covers with one or two of these coins for like 40 quid, 50 quid. There's a couple of coin sets on there for up 80 and 90. Well I paid a tenner for this and I'm going to put 75 on it and see what offers I get. It's a really nice uh, commemorative set and it is what it is. It's different, it's quality for the shop so I'm happy with that. I'm not 100% um, what I've shown you, I may have had one or two pieces here from Saturday, I can't, don't know. Right, I had a load of meerkats, again, uh, a nice little job lot of meerkats guys. Uh, some of them have already <laughs> been snapped up by my mother again, as you know. Anything that uh, she, I don't, uh, I don't, start again, anything I buy that she doesn't have, she buys off me. So she had the black Spider-Man and another two off me. So three of the meerkats went straight away. I have that one. Little safari one. And a pretty standard one in the dressing gown. Sergey, I think, is it? Uh, I don't know. Right, yeah. I get right the one she had off me was Maya uh, the black spider-man and I don't know what the other was but she had three off me anyway but these three all of them cost me a fiver each so they cost me 30 pound for the six and my 30 pound come back off man for the three she had so those three are free they don't owe me nothing so and in there in that box was a really nice wooden plate stand which we didn't even know about which was underneath the meerkat so that's going to be used in the shop for free and there was a present for John who sat by there that was in the box for free as well a boomerang and look at him smile uh, say good morning morning he's come to work with me today guys yeah babe don't throw her in the shop <laughs> so already a couple of nice little pieces I had another teddy bear guys uh, I'm buying a lot of the old movie and TV teddies and there we have a Womble. He has his uh, W there, uh, somewhere over there. Uh, so we have another Womble. He's been, uh, uh, he's a little uh, worse for wear but he was 50 pence. So he's going to go in the shop and I know we chuck a tenner on him. Should be a tenner shouldn't he for a Womble. Uh, da, da, da. Right. I've had a bit of silver as well, I'll show you that at the end. I've had a little bit of, right, uh, where are we at? 
Let's show you a little bit of crystal, I think. Beautiful find, a uh, fine English cut crystal ship's decanter. They call it a ship's decanter because of the shape and they don't fall over. Probably Stuart Crystal or one of those. I haven't looked yet for the signature. It needs a wash, it does. Uh, hard to find a signature on these until they're clean. That was th three pound. This one beer cost me a fiver. It's absolutely beautiful quality. Um, cut, acid etched. Again, it's got a large pontal mark, so it needs uh, a wash and have a good look, see if I can see a signature. But that's really nice. That's going to be up 20, 25 pound, no problem. Even this. Talk about unusual crystal. I have a fish or a whale, maybe a whale sauce boat in cut crystal. The tail is the handle. In cut crystal, guys, how's that for unusual? That was a pound. I'm going to put a tenner on it. So, happily enough. I have a cut crystal biscuit barrel. Looks bohemian. Uh, I'm going to check out for um, signature once it's washed and cleaned. This one's full of silver. So I'll show you the silver in a bit. Had a uh, sort of well wool work picture, all uh, uh, it's not a sampler, guys. I don't think it comes under a sampler, it's a bit of wool work. But once it's cleaned up, that's gonna look nice. And it was two quid, bit of work involved there. Uh, for two quid, I don't mind that. Signed, print, boxing, and it is Ricky Hattie. The only downside with it is dedicated to Susie Wong. But I have two options. I'm going to sell it out as it is first to hopefully one of the boxing clubs around here. Secondly, if that doesn't work, I'm going to cut his signature out, remount it in a frame with just his picture and his signature underneath. Um, but it was £3.50. Signed, boxing print, it's all right. It looked good in uh, one of these boxing clubs around here, so yeah, I was gonna pull 30 quid. Now I've had a box of crystal. Let me show you the box. It's full. Now it stands me in a £4.50. It's a strange number, I know, but she was basically, I want a pound for that set, I want a pound 50 for that set, and so on. Every glass in here is the same pattern. Stinking dirty, but real, real nice cut crystal. The tumbler didn't ping very well there. I'll use a glass in a minute. But they look real nice quality, guys. And there's uh, tumblers, there's sherries, there's champagne flutes. Bigger glass, might win, as you can see. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's like a wine or water. They're not uh, pinging very well, I'll be honest with you. But they are beautiful. The feel and the look of them is stunning, but they're not pinging very well. So they're not as good quality as you'd think or hope. But they are beautiful glasses. I would have expected them to really ring. But they are nice. You know, these are all different sets, yeah. yeah. Washed up. The tumblers are going to be up 20, 25 pounds for the set. And then the glasses, you know, you're talking 10, 12 pounds a set. Uh, so all in all, that box is going to return me 100 quid, no problem at all. Just for that box. I have a novelty nutcracker as a squirrel and you wind down this to crook in that. This is all iron and the base wood. That was a pound novelty nutcracker. It's going to go out for a tenner. Here guys we have a 
Dolphin Paperweight, produced by Goble. Um, always signed. It's hard to make it out, but they are always signed on the base. They don't pull fortunes. I paid two pound for that dolphin, and it's going to be about eight or ten quid. I bought it along with this one, and I paid seven pound for the two, for the dolphin and the elephant. I think it was seven pound um, in Regend Carbutsu on Sunday, which was very poor. I'm like dad. Beautiful. Wedgwood glass elephant has his original label. The colouring is stunning, guys. Really beautiful puce colour. Cased in clear. Really nice elephant. Signed to the base as well. So label and signature. Um, so the way I looked at it, that was two quid. This was either five or six quid. Um, that's going to be 20 quid all day long for that elephant. No problem at all. So that, that's going to pull 30 quid back for the two of those. One of my star buys isn't even antique, but it's something that will sell in the shop pretty fast. So we're making this. There we have it, a very large bust of John Wayne. It's uh, John Wayne on the front, and on the, the reverse it reads John Wayne Enterprises, John Wayne licensed by JWE, www.johnwayne.com, Nemesis, copyright now. Now I've looked online, and you can get these busts from as little as 50 quid, Right away up to a few hundred pounds. But when you look in closer, the 50 pound ones are 17 centimetres. They are small. This bust, as you just saw, is a monster. Don't kick one out because it's dropping. I'm going to put 75 on that again, maybe 80 on that again in the window. And I do have John Wayne collectors coming in. If you remember, I had all the John Wayne figures in the past. They've all gone. I think I got two left out of 27 or something like that. So they done really well. So this Duke, he's going out. No, I paid twenty pound for him. Um, but no, what can I say? Regen car boot sale twenty quid. That's a cracking lot. I had John Wayne and the Titanic off the same man. Um, in Regen, I had the. Wedgwood paperweight and the Goldwood paperweight off another man in Regend. Um I have got more to show you, but uh, they, you know, you can see it's a really good start. I got a really nice, heavy quality enamel cast iron uh, cast roll dish. Real heavy and real nice condition. I took the handle off because the handle was snapped. But I paid a pound for it. That's got to make his mark underneath, which is hard to read a minute. I'm going to do some research. But you try and buy a pot like us at 40, 50 quid, no problem at all, if not more. So I thought I'll get a handle off another saucepan on the boot sale and I'll chuck 20 quid on it. For a quid, I'm going to leave it there. It's quality. It may be modern, but it is quality. And to be honest with you, I, I keep it in the house and I'd cook my own uh, brisket in that. No problem. Next we have a carved figure of, I think it's Ganache. Looks, like, looks to be Ganache to me. Um, it's the elephant. So we're talking, it's an Indian uh, idol. All hand carved out of a single piece of wood. Quite nice. And I found him in the box with the meerkat, so he's free. Um, I'm gonna put 15 pound on that. It's quite a bit of work and carving gone into it. It's not brilliant, but it is not bad, to be totally honest with you. It's probably a tourist piece. Um, somebody's gone on holiday and they've bought this, but somebody have sat there for many, many hours carving this. So, and it looks good in the cabinet as well. So I'm happy with that, guys. Next thing to show you now is gonna be the jewelry. So if you bear with me for a second, I'll uh, 
shut the camera off a minute, make it in a room, put it on the desk and I'll film showing you the jewellery. Okay guys, so we have three, is it going to focus in, we have three pendants here, no it's not, there we go. Uh, real nice pendants, couple with mum on, and I sell them really well here. We've got a silver St. Christopher, a silver charm bracelet, some silver earrings, a nice silver ring, another silver ring, and then two, uh, bear with me, sorry guys, two silver rings with blue and white stones the same ring and of course a pair of cufflinks the cufflinks got to be tested they're not hallmarked but the fronts look gold the front parts uh, all the silver stands me in a 12 pound off one woman and they were a pound so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do I'm going to get one or two photos skew because the camera isn't brilliant with the um, jewellery there we have it guys, that's my uh, buying for Sunday, minus the three meerkats. So all in all, it's been a really good weekend of buying. Uh, some really nice pieces to put straight up on the shelf. All I gotta do is wash all our crystal and put it out and I'll be done. The John Wayne's going out today, I'm gonna find somewhere to put him. Um, I'm really excited to see how fast he goes and I love the commemorative of the Titanic. So two really good ones. But let's be honest, ship's decanters, three, three and a half quid, I sell them all day long for 30, 35 pound, no problem at all. Some nice bits of jewellery, I'm getting 15, 20 pound for the rings, uh, the, you know, charm bracelet on his own is going to be 20 quid, the earrings are a fiver, the pendants, I'm going to put a thin chain on, I'm going to ask 15 quid a piece on the pendants, the St. Christopher's a tenner, so all in all, that is a real nice little earn over there. You can tell the weather's starting to break and the boots are coming back to life because the stock is just improving and the quality and the quantity is there. Um, it's been a really good few weeks for me and I just hope it keeps up now and I have a cracking storm in here. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it there guys. If you have enjoyed watching, I would appreciate a like and a share, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and let me know you subscribe and I'll give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on Facebook, I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come visit us in the shop, Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Do you want to say goodbye? <laughs> Bye guys.